Welcome to Gear Jammer Garage. Today I'm working on this 2005 Honda VTX 1300S, which is doing some maintenance, oil change, and spark plugs. This bike has four spark plugs. It's got two drain plugs. You'll need a 17 millimeter to get that off. And the spark plugs are behind these covers here. There's one here, one there, and then the other two on the same spot on the other side. First thing you want to do is crack open the crankcase so you get some air in there. And it'll make the oil come out a lot easier. You can see there's a get the camera under here. There's a drain plug here. And then there's the filter back there. So I'm going to start with the drain plug that's right here, it's a 17. There we go. Then you're going to want to wipe off the drain plug and make sure there's no pieces of metal on it. Alright, while that's draining I'm going to start with the uh, oil filter. It's Right here. Move the panel a little bit closer. Oh nice, it's not super tight. It's just hand tight guys, when you put these on. You don't need to go crazy with it. Alright, so it's still leaking from the back where the filter's at, but I moved the pan where it's still able to capture it. That first drain plug that I took off is still leaking. And the second drain plug is over here in the front. So you can see there's one, the other one was in the middle, and then the third place that it'll leak from is from the filter, but if you do it slowly like that where it's not completely like just pouring out, you could do all three at the same time. I might let this drain for a bit, uh, we'll close everything back up, and then we'll do the spark plugs. By the way, the torque spec on the drain plugs is 22 pound feet. Alright, so it stopped dripping on the kickstand. Right now I got the uh, owner of the bike holding the bike up and there's a little more oil in there. Hold it a little more up right there. No, go back. Hold it right there. So we'll hold it like that for a few minutes. Let the rest of that oil drain out. Kind of see there. And there, a little bit of oil still in there. And then we'll close everything back up and we'll, and we'll refill it. After standing it up and then putting it back on the kickstand, it's leaking again. So we'll do this a couple of times, try to get as much oil out of it, and then we'll move on. All right, while I'm waiting for the oil to drain, I'm gonna come over here to the left side and start changing the spark plugs. Spark plugs are right here on top of this head. This is just a plastic cover. You just pull on it, and it comes off. You just get your hand in there, get a finger behind here, finger behind here, and then just pull it. Spark plug is right here. Now, when you remove the cable, don't grab it from up here. Grab it from the boot and lift it up. You don't want to damage these. Like that. 
and we'll get the tool in here and I'll take it out while I'm here I'll take this cover off also just like that one and there's two so this is what came out of there NGK DCP R6E same with the one in the front same part number now let me give you guys a tip with the spark plugs if you go to AutoZone O'Reilly's Dennis Kirk they'll have these and you know they're like four or five bucks I think when I checked they're like five or six bucks at Dennis Kirk just having the part number it's right there 3481 or DCP R6E NGK, you go to Rock Auto, plug in that part number on the catalog, and I bought these for one, I think 149 or one, the shipping costs more, I'll say that, it was like 13 bucks with taxes sh and shipping out the door for four of these, so look around and save some money. The spec for the spark plug gap. Is 31 to 35 so I'm just gonna gap these to 33 and put them back in now the process is the same for the other side pretty straightforward just uh, one of the tips just remember don't grab it the wire from the wire try to grab it from the boot or as low as possible and if you get that tool that I mean that'd be better but you know, just be delicate with these. You don't want to mess them up and end up with a misfire. All right. You'll feel like a click. Or you'll feel the difference when it goes all the way in. All right, got the spark plugs in, got the oil all drained out, and every, the filters put back in, the two drain plugs are put back in. Remember, it's 22 pound-feet is a torque. This is the part number for the filter that we put on there, KNN 204-1, it's black. I think the 204-C is the chrome one. Also, you could get a pH... I believe it's 6700 from Fran, but I don't know. This is just better. Just spend the extra money to get this. And then the oil that we're going to use is 1040 motorcycle oil. This is what it calls for in the manual. Racing, that don't matter. It's just, you know, it's good oil, mobile one. So I'm going to put, it calls for 3.9 quarts. I'm going to put three in there, check the dipstick, and then go from there. You know, sometimes you don't get all the oil out or whatever. And uh, that's it. Got this out of Riley's. Same thing with the filter. Got that out of Riley's as well.
Well, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope this helped you if you got one of these and you're working on it. It's pretty simple to do. So take it with confidence. It's not that difficult, pretty straightforward. If you like this type of content, subscribe to the channel. And if you're already a, a subscriber, thank you for that. I will have more C20 content and Impala content coming soon. The C20 has some parts on order and I'm waiting for some stuff to come back from the machine shop. Thanks for watching guys. I appreciate it. See you guys next time.